Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I thought I would do another crochet and chat. I haven't done a crochet and chat in a year or two. <laughs> and it's just because I've been busy doing other things. But today I am working on my second uh, everyday cardigan. I got the whole back panel done. And I just barely started working on the first front panel. So I'm going to be working on that. It's just half double crochets. So I shouldn't mess it up. And uh, I did remember to use my cake cozy. And it's working good so far. And this is from Haley at uh, Mulberry Lane something. I forgot the other word. Uh, I'll link it below. Her Etsy shop below. I don't know if she has any in there, but I think she had some in there. But uh, they were good. So I got it snuggled on there. I got another one right there. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'm going to work on that. And it's the Everyday Cardigan. It's a free pattern by Sorella. And I'll link that below too if you're interested. But I wanted to start doing... Um, crocheting chats again because they're fun <laughs> i like to just talk to you guys and um crochet anyways devin and jesse are in the living room playing video games so you could probably hear them yelling <laughs> but uh since i don't have any questions or anything right now i thought i would do a call out on this one to uh, if you have any questions crochet related or whatever yarn related personal as long as they're not crazy personal <laughs> uh leave them in the comments below and i will write them down and I'll start drawing them out like I used to do with my crochet and chats. I used to, I would write down everybody's questions and put them in like a bowl and draw them out. And then that's what I would chat about that day. So today, um, I don't have a topic, so I'm just chatting. <laughs> but uh, I live in Middle Tennessee and we're getting the ice storm. I know a lot of people in the south and uh, the middle south, <laughs> Kentucky and all that, is getting it really bad right now. So far we haven't gotten it horrible, but to not actually starting at 10 today yeah because it's raining right now and it's 10 30. uh it's gonna start raining and then it's gonna get cold so it's gonna freeze and then there's gonna be ice everywhere my mom sent a picture of her tree in her backyard if i could think about it i'll insert it and it's already coated in ice and she lives on a mountain she lives super close to us but we live in like the valley she lives up on the mountain and then there's another mountain over this way and it's completely frozen their, their powers are out and everything so uh i'm hoping it's not gonna be as rough as the Hmm. I think it was 2014. Yeah, 2014 here in Tennessee, we got a really bad ice storm and it shut down our whole area for like 10 days. I know the people up on this mountain, the taller up mountain, <laughs> um, they were without power for over a week and it was state of emergency and it was really bad. Lots of wrecks and stuff. So I'm hoping that this one isn't going to be that bad. I really hope we don't lose power because <laughs> our electricity, our key is electric so if we lose power we're gonna have to try to make it to either my in-laws or my mom's because <laughs> my in-laws have a have gas heat so it works um without power and my mom has wood heat so i'm hoping that we can avoid that though <laughs> today i am working on bags too um i gotta put the snaps on all the bags there's a big pile of bags right here as so i'm looking over there and um I'm going to try to finish that up today and tomorrow, and then Wednesday is when I'm going to take them all to the post office for anybody who ordered them. I'm waiting until Wednesday because I want to make sure the roads are safe for us to drive on to go to the post office. And we live in an apartment building, like complex, you know, there's multiple buildings, and it's on like a dead-end cul-de-sac type thing, and it's down a big hill, so we're pretty much stuck here because the hill is iced over. <laughs> we, we couldn't get out if we needed to. Um probably have to get someone in a 4 by 4 to come get us and luckily the hospital is literally right down the road we live on the same road as our hospital so if if we had an emergency situation we could probably at least walk up there and meet someone to pick us up and take us to the hospital <laughs> hopefully that don't happen though i'm always afraid i'm gonna hurt myself sewing i've seen pictures of people who are having sewing incidents and i'm so scared it's gonna happen to me but uh so far so good <laughs> but yeah so I don't know what else I'm going to get into today. I do got to finish up some sewing, you know, bag related things. I got to, I'm going to film and edit some videos today to put up. I'm going to try to get it all done today. So if we lose power, they'll already, they'll be uh, scheduled to go off. So uh, at least I still have videos coming out. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So this weekend, Devin is off work. Uh, this coming Saturday through Monday. So I might not be... Uh, diligent in answer, answering me messages. <laughs> Usually when he's home, I try not to stay on my phone the whole time. 
But uh, if I get downtime, I will respond to comments and stuff. I just want to let you guys know that because uh, we'll be busy, you know. It's supposed to be a little bit nicer this weekend. The sun's supposed to come out <laughs> and warm it up a little bit. I'm real worried about that. I'm, I'm afraid that a lot of people are going to lose power and it's so cold. It sinks. <laughs> I hate ice storms. I could deal with snow all day long, but it's the ice storms that suck. But yeah, I got, I got another... Um, international holiday or national holiday uh crochet coming up this week it'll be coming out on saturday i gotta make it i still haven't made it <laughs> but it's a cute little amigurumi that i'm gonna be making for that what else i got planned this week i'm gonna draw the winner for the uh what would you make with this yarn <laughs> uh from last week this week since i didn't do it last week but uh you know laugh <laughs> so everybody i guess this has extra week to enter that giveaway my neighbor's baby's crying. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just sitting here crocheting. I've added a few rows already. I gotta do 62 rows of this front panel and then detach the yarn and attach it back over here. And then do 62 more rows because <laughs> this is the back panel and then this part is what's gonna fold over my shoulder to create the front panels. I'm excited about this sweater. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to get it done. I gotta make my mom one too, but she's uh, she gets paid on the third, you know. So she's gonna give me the money to buy the yarn, and she wants a dark green. She at first wanted like an off white color, but she changed her mind, and she wants a like a hunter green color. So I'll be I'll probably get all of this yarn if I can get enough of the same color. But uh, it'll be nice. These come out really fast, and. Uh, I'd probably already be done with this if I'd sat down and work on it, but I've been sewing for the last few days and uh, not doing it. Yesterday, I got tired of our couch sliding around where it was at, so I rearranged the entire living room <laughs> so that the couch wouldn't slide. And, uh, yeah, so the whole living room's rearranged. <laughs> I, want, I need to do some laundry today, but I'm waiting because I don't want to get some started and then the power to go out, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> For most of the danger to be over. I'm thinking I should probably cook something now so that we have food throughout the day in case something, in case power does go out. But usually we live right in town so if our power goes out it comes back on very quickly because they, they always work on the town before the out in the nowhere. <laughs> so I am hoping that that doesn't happen. I don't want to freeze. <laughs> it's already cold in here. I haven't been turning the heat up super high because I don't want to like, you know, one, I don't want the electricity bill to go up, but two, I don't want the um, heating unit to have to work so hard. It's been so cold that it keeps kicking on the auxiliary air, and I'm afraid it's working too hard. So I keep, uh, I keep it pretty low so that we don't have to worry about it pooping out on us because if it messed up, that would be a whole hassle. <laughs> and, uh. But we have candles. We have all kinds of food here. None of us are on prescriptions that we have to worry about being out. We have all kinds of blankets and clothes. So we'll be fine if the power goes out. We'll just be really bored. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's life, I guess. I think when we get a house, I'm, I want a fireplace or a wood stove for backup. We don't get a lot of winter storms, but when we, when we do, they're usually pretty rough. And uh, when we get a home, we plan on buying land, so we'll have trees, and, you know, trees get icy, and they break, and then they knock out power lines and stuff, so I want to make sure. See, I don't have much done so far. <laughs> it's getting there. And there's my cake. I love these. This color is so pretty. This is um, Lime Brand Mandala Ombre, and the color is called Happy. The back panel took an entire cake, and right here's where I put the other one on there. So this orange so far to here this is the second cake um it should take almost four cakes i believe is what i calculated it for the size that i'm making i'm making an extra large i will probably make my mom a size bigger because i think she'd like it being more um baggier so i'll probably make hers a size bigger yeah using just a k-hook 
I am going to do these ones sleeves differently. I'm going to take off the extra rows because if I did the whole thing, it would be too long. But I'm also going to, I think I'm going to go down a hook size on the cuffs so that they're a little bit uh, tighter around my wrist. So, uh, yeah. But I'll talk about all that for sure once I'm showing the finished project. I'm hoping to get this done maybe this weekend. I'm going to work on it this weekend. And we'll see. I have six cakes of this yarn, so I'll have some left over. That I'll have to make something else with. <laughs> Anyways, I hit the 10 minute mark. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Like I said, leave in the comments if you have any questions about anything. <laughs> and uh, I will start doing crocheting chats. Maybe weekly or every other week. And uh, just sit down with you guys and crochet. And talk about whatever subject I pull out of the, the bowl. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.